guys welcome to today's video so today I'm gonna to be talking about pharmacy beauty I received three products in PR so I thought that I would switch things up a little bit today share what those products are and talk about a different skincare brand so before we get into it if you could please like this video subscribe and ring the notification bell by doing so you will always be notified whenever I upload a new video and I do upload videos every single week so the products that I'm going to be talking about in this video are not necessarily new to the skincare market. You have most likely have seen these before or perhaps used them. So the first product that I'm going to be talking about first is the Pharmacy Green Clean Cleansing Balm. Now I am a big fan of cleansing balms or cleansing oils. These are great to use as your first step in your nighttime skincare routine to remove any dirt, oil, makeup, and sunscreen off your face. And then once you've rinsed a product like this off your skin, then you can go in with a double cleanse with your cleanser of choice. And I always recommend a double cleanse because you want to make sure that your skin is well cleansed before going in with all of your other serums and skincare products. Now before receiving this, I have never used this before as I am a big fan of the Tatcha Camellia Cleansing Oil. That is something that I use every single night and I've been using that product for several years and I love it. But since receiving this, I thought that I would give this a try and I actually quite like this one as well. This is a balm, it's not an oil, but the balm turns into an oil. So it actually is quite lovely. It spreads across the skin really nicely. It does remove waterproof mascara really well. I don't typically wear waterproof mascara, but I did wanna put this to the test and it did remove it pretty easily. So that is a great thing, especially when you add some water to it and emulsify it around your face. Now this does have fragrance in it and I want to make sure that I point that out because not everybody can use a product that has fragrance. This does not have artificial synthetic fragrance. The fragrance is coming from the ingredients that they added in here. So for example, orange peel oil, there is a bergamot fruit oil in here as well, and there's a few other ingredients that are fragranced. So the scent is very lovely. I actually quite like it. It's not too strong. It's very subtle. And with a wash off product like this and let's say a cleanser, you don't necessarily have to worry too much because these are not left on your skin for too long before it can do anything to your skin. But of course, if you have sensitive, irritated skin when it comes to fragrance, then that is enough time to probably irritate your skin. So just stay away from products that have fragrance like that in them. But if you have normal skin and you really are not affected by fragrance at all, then this is not something to be too alarmed about because again, it's just going to be left on your skin for a short amount of time before you rinse it off. One thing that I really love about this cleansing balm is that it does not leave a thick, heavy film on your skin after you've rinsed it off. So if you are somebody that just likes to cleanse once, then this will be sufficient enough because you're not gonna have that heavy film. With the Drunk Elephant Slide, if you've ever used that cleansing balm, that one leaves a really thick film on the skin where you have to go in with a double cleanse to get rid of that. That's one of the reasons why I don't use that cleansing balm anymore. I couldn't stand that. But with this one, honestly, your skin feels skin-like and once you rinse it off, you're good to go. So, love that with this. I will show you what this looks like on the back of my hand just so that you can see the texture of it. It does come with a little spatula so that you can grab from the product. And honestly, a little bit goes a long way. The amount that I'm putting on my hand, you would need more than this to do your face. So depending on how much makeup you wear, maybe you're just wearing sunscreen, you can base it on how much you want to apply to your skin. But this is what the balm looks like. It looks very fluffy and I just think this is such a nice texture. I love the formulation. Of course, I wish that there was no fragrance in here, so that's the only downfall with this product. I am not affected by it. I don't get any sensitivities from it, but it is nice to have no fragrance in skincare when you can. I wouldn't not purchase this product because of that unless you have sensitive skin. But as you can see, it does turn into an oil and I'm telling you right now, once you massage this all over your skin, add a little bit of water to spread the product, your makeup just melts right off and it doesn't take long at all before your makeup lists. It's great. 
I also have the 50 ml size and this does retail at $29 Canadian. The other product that I received is the Whipped Greens Oil Free Foaming Cleanser with Moringa and Papaya. Now I do believe that this launched late 2020 last year and I was really excited to try this out because when it launched I had my eyes on it but then I thought you know what I have so many things at the moment. I just passed on it. So I'm glad that I received it now because I really wanted to try this. Now the Moringa in here is designed to remove impurities out of your skin and to help remove the dirt. And the papaya is actually an enzyme that will help to gently exfoliate your skin. So Pharmacy Beauty does say that this cleanser is best suited for oily to combination skin types. Now if you have dry sensitive skin, I probably Probably would pass on this because number one there is fragrance in here you can find a lot of different extracts from lime extracts to orange and the list goes on so it is pretty fragranced but again it's something that is going to be washed off your skin so it's not too bad if you want to pass on the cleansing balm and use this to remove your makeup you could do that I still like to use the cleansing balm and then this afterwards, but this foams up really nicely. It cleanses your skin really well where this does remove your makeup. I did try to remove my makeup one night with using just this and it removed it pretty well. Not as quickly as the cleansing balm, but it did remove it eventually. There is green clay in here which will absorb excess oil and this is just something that is probably best suited, like I said, for combination to oily skin. So I will show you what this looks like on the back of my hand. It's nicely whipped and fluffy. So it's something different that I've really never tried before and I actually think that the formulation is quite lovely. So as you can see, it does have the same color as the cleansing balm and this one again spreads really nicely a little bit goes a long way but once you rub this in and add water it starts to foam up really well so i do like that about this your skin does not feel stripped or tight after you've rinsed it off but if your skin is more on the drier side then you have that possibility where it could feel tight. You are getting 150 mils of product and this does retail at $37 Canadian. And when it comes to cleansers, it really is a personal preference. You either love it or you hate it. I actually really like this one. And the last product is the Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. And let me tell you, I am in love with this moisturizer. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not, but I was pleasantly surprised the first time that I applied this to my skin. I thought, wow, this is amazing, especially for these dry, colder temperatures that I'm experiencing here in Canada. But even in the summer months or even the spring months, I think this is still going to be exceptional, especially those days where you're really experiencing dryness, either from your tretinoin, your acids, or maybe that's just your skin type. This is going to be fabulous. But even if you have normal to combination to oily skin, this is still going to be great because this is very lightweight. This is not one of those thick real heavy moisturizers. This is very lightweight so you're not going to feel suffocated. You're not going to feel like it's going to be too heavy on the skin. It's honestly very lightweight and the formulation is on point with how much hydration that you actually get from this. So there is ceramides in here which is great to repair your skin's barrier. This ingredient also helps to prevent water loss so it really keeps that moisture and that hydration in. And there is also buckwheat honey, propolis and royal jelly. And these are great calming and soothing ingredients that are going to really calm your skin and they're very hydrating ingredients as well. There is fig fruit extract in here which is going to give you a plumper look to your skin and you do get a pretty nice plump look with this moisturizer. So you can use this in the morning to get that plump look throughout the day or you can use this in the evening. And I've actually been using this in the evening and using it on top of my tretinoin and this has really helped to lock in that hydration and to prevent dryness a few days later. This has been my go-to since I've received this in the mail. I haven't been using my First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream at all. This has basically replaced it 
for my nighttime moisturizer. This is exceptional. I have used this in the morning a few times. This does sit very nicely underneath sunscreen and it also sits nicely underneath makeup. I didn't experience pilling whatsoever, so I thought that I would let you know that. Now this also has a slight honey smell to it and I want to point that out there just in case you're sensitive to fragrance but it's very mild, it's very subtle and you honestly have to take a really deep breath to smell it. Other than that, you don't smell anything. So I do like that about the moisturizer. It's not too fragranced at all. And I just think it's something that is worth looking into. I also like how they give you a nice magnetic spoon which sits on top of the lid. So I will show you what this looks like. And I'm hoping you can see how much I've used so far. I'm just absolutely obsessed with this. It's so good. Once you love something, you're obsessed with it and that's all you want to use. I'm going to be buying one because I like it that much. So I am going to grab a little bit just to show what it looks like. Of course, you're going to need a lot more than this to do your face and your neck. But that's what it looks like there. It does spread pretty nicely also. This is a moisturizer that will leave your skin a little bit dewy and glowy. So if that's not your thing then you may not want to pick up this moisturizer or you may just want to use this in the evening only but this will make your makeup a little bit glowy which I'm all for I love that so you are getting 50 mils of product and this does retail at $59 Canadian so those are the three pharmacy beauty skincare products that I received in PR I really like all three of them but I must say the honey halo is my absolute favorite this is definitely worth the money in my opinion and I am going to be purchasing one of these with my own money I like it that much it just performs so well this is definitely a moisturizer that I can honestly say that I've never used before nothing really compares to this from what I've used in the past so that's another reason why I like this one. The cleanser and the cleansing balm are lovely as well, but of course you can find some fragrance-free options that are more affordable, that perform just as good as those ones. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. I will have everything linked below for you in case you wanna check these products out, and I will see you all in my next video. So take care and I will see you guys then. Bye guys.